Motivation. We have a complicated relationship. See, I'm not typically motivated to do things I'm not inspired to do, which is like 90% of things. You know what? That's okay. Because 90% of things are kind of meaningless. That, that, that doesn't sound healthy. Like, I don't think being motivated to do like every aspect of my life would benefit me that much. Like, would I be that much better off if I were motivated to uh, go to school, uh, do my job well, uh, pay my bills on time? Well, uh, the answer is yes, but I haven't been doing any of that so far, and I'm not homeless or, or dead yet, so it, it can't be that big of a deal. You are setting the bar extremely low. But my real concern with motivation, and the reason I'm making this video, is because I lose my motivation with that other 10%. Things I'm passionate about doing. Uh, YouTube, athletics, uh, not dying. There are points where I stop caring if I achieve these things, which is natural, I think, for some. But you know, things start to get concerning when you seek motivation to do those things that you love. And it, and it, it's, it, it doesn't stick, though, if that makes any sense. Like, I shouldn't have to collect all seven of the Dragon Balls to find the motivation to record some audio. Which is literally happening right now as, I, as I'm saying this. Alright, all right, so example. Back in December, I had a bunch of a video stuff to do. And it, it's stuff that I love, don't get me wrong. But I was in every sense of the word swamped. And the motivation to do all that work was not there to say the least. So Tabs, maybe you know her, ended up putting me onto this hour-long interview with Michael Jordan's personal trainer, Tim Grover. And he talked about the 13 rules of being relentless. And yo, let me tell you, when I listened to that thing, I your boy was inspired. I was a different man. For all anybody knew, I could have been training in the in the mountains with the Tibetan monks, meditating, setting myself on fire. Anytime I felt lazy, I would just think of those words, and then I'm up and back at it. But as time went on, uh, they lit me up a, a little less, a little less. Uh, cut to now, those words mean uh, like very little. Like I remember every aspect of what he was saying, and, and it's not like the stuff he said just stopped ringing true. But it's just like now when I think of the words, it, it doesn't light a fire under me like it did before. And I know it's a problem because this keeps happening, uh, with, like with the dope lectures I've seen or podcasts, a uh, uh, freaking Gary Vanderchuk. So recently, like I sat myself down and I searched for the key to maintaining motivation. And I can honestly say it's been a long journey. Like I've scoured through all kinds of books and articles and, and websites, and I ended up doing a deep dive into the pits of my own soul. And guys, uh, I came up with this. I don't fucking know. Really, I have no idea. Side note, there's this stigma online that internet personalities are these all-knowing gurus of answers and advice, when like in reality, 20% of us don't know what the hell we're talking about. So I'm gonna say this right now. When it comes to how to maintain motivation, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Like all my past videos are like, I've done the research and I've been confident on all my analysis with each of the things I've talked about. And I have no clue about this. So, so to try and figure this out, I'm gonna act by some words my dad always taught me. There's wisdom in the multitude of counsel. I, I don't know if that carries on to asking random people on Twitter, but it's worth a shot. <sighs> okay, it is one o'clock in the morning. And, um, let's see what we got here. People push me forward. On some cases, after I take an L, I bounce back in the- I was not like, oh, was I not I bounce back? And I always find it funny because reading really helps, but it's like another time-consuming activity that takes away from you doing your work. Is that like a paradox or like, but not, but re reading help, does help. <laughs> Watching my peers surpass me is a double-edged sword, but most of the time it pushes me. Yo, it's never happened to me though. Never, never happened to me though. <laughs> Listen to music. Okay, uh, Alexa, play some music. Okay, that, that doesn't, I don't know. I don't sleep and get stuff done. You can sleep forever when you're dead. Yikes, that's a oof. I visualize how mad I'll be later after wasting my time. Usually I just visualize how hard it is now, and then and then I take a nap. Pro tip, think about all your responsibilities and ignore them by going and taking a nap. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I don't, I don't, I don't, don't, I don't. This is really, y'all need more help than me. <laughs> by dying, that's a, um. I don't showers okay well does that mean you're just showering does that mean like you're gonna shower? in my case it's more about depression and fear than motivation i am dope well i keep envisioning wait, wait what oh wait i mean the result of all the hard work i put in it keeps me going okay i was i was concerned <laughs> this is gonna be terrible all of these things you know they held some truths but it, but that doesn't really like solve the issue of permanence like, like all these things if you try them i think i'll still run into that issue of it not lasting else i'd probably be getting the same recommendation over and over and the one i did get over and over was don't and when it doesn't last i have to find a new source of motivation a new podcast a new book a new method something different that'll drive me and yo if we're being honest that, that sounds like really 
unhealthy. <laughs> I think motivation's a lot like a drug. Like, like we need it. Like the more we get of it, the more tolerant we are to it. Like with weed or or um magic, as some people say. So knowing that, like here here's the new here's what we're gonna say. What we need is discipline. It's like, it's like that procrastination bug. Like, like you don't feel like doing anything because you know, like you don't have that rush to do it. I need to be able to start working on something. But because I know I was motivated at one point. I know I was passionate to do this thing at some point in my life. And that passion didn't just go away. Like, no, I just, I just feel differently about it. Just like those words from, uh... Oh, what's his face? All right, and forgot his name. That's how I'm moving. <laughs> like his words still ring true. Grover, Grover <laughs> was his name. But they just meant less. D just like the things I'm passionate about. They're still my passions, but just cause I'm not feeling the way I thought about them before, it doesn't mean they're not as important. And it doesn't mean I still shouldn't be taking those steps as actively as I was when I was motivated. You know, I, and that, that's something I've been trying to do recently again i'm recording this at like one o'clock in the morning like this is this is straight up so i mean like i said i don't know a lot about everything but i do know that motivation is fickle but staying disciplined makes up for it because when you're not motivated what else do you have yo it's something i'll be trying a lot more yeah i think oh what's up y'all i hope you enjoyed that video this one has been in the works for quite a while i also want to add one extra point on the end card by in no means am i saying discipline is easy like i don't think this necessarily applies to everybody but like i'm generally like a weak person <laughs> and maybe some people can relate other people's may not and, and in fact i want to talk about discipline probably in the next one or one soon coming up depending if y'all would like that like i'm sure all those people who i quoted like uh the joe rogan the gary vaynerchuks they'd be upset at me for not understanding the the concept of being disciplined. <laughs> I, I am too. But yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to be real with everybody for like a little bit. I thought it'd be dope. But um, yeah, uh, shout out time. Extra tunes. Oh, hey, uh, I've seen you before. Thanks for retweeting the video. Much, much love. She actually did this dope uh, fan art of me and I was like, I was super happy about that. So thank you. Thank you so much. Also, also maybe I should start putting fan art in the videos. Hey, yo, but that's really about it. If you like the video, uh, let me know because I want to do more like this. Um, but yeah, make sure you like, share, subscribe.